Hi, I'm Kerry and I'm going to show you how to crochet this little mouse. You'll need a small amount of cotton or wool. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton today. I prefer cotton, I find it gives me a, a crisper finish. You'll also need sewing or embroidery cotton for the eyes, nose and whiskers. Also a sewing and a darning needle. The stitches we'll be using today are chain, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and decrease double crochet and decrease half double crochet. Okay, we'll get started. That will be starting with a magic loop or a magic circle. So you bring the yarn over the end of the tail and make a loop as if you're going to do a chain and then bring up a loop and bring it through the circle. You've got a circle like that. Now we're going to do three chain. So into the circle we're going to do 14 double crochet. A double crochet is bring the yarn around the hook, take your hook in through the circle and pick up another loop. So you've got three loops on your hook. Put your yarn around through two loops, yarn around through two loops. Now that's a double crochet. We're going to do 14 double crochet into our circle. you finished your 14 double crochet you get hold of your tail and just pull it as tight as you can and then or slip stitch into your, the third of your chain the slip stitch you just push it through the chain grab hold of a loop and then take it through the two for the second row we're going to do three chain and we're going to do a double crochet into each of the double crochet from the previous round. So I do one into the same space as the chain and then into every other stitch I'll do two. like that. Now I'll go round to the end of the row and I'll meet you there. When you get to the end of the row you'll do a slip stitch into the third of the chain and then for the third row we work three chain and then one double crochet into each of the first two double crochet from the previous round and then two double crochet into the next stitch and repeat that round so one double crochet into the next each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the third stitch so I'll continue around this row and I'll see you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we'll join with a slip stitch again into the third chain and 
and there's our body. Next we're going to make the tail. We're not going to end off, we'll just continue here. And you can make the tail as long as you like and as bendy as you like. Um, make the end of the tail narrow, so slip stitches and single crochet and work up to double crochet. And um, to make the bends in the tail, you do decrease decreases or increases. So two in a stitch or work two stitches together. Today I'm going to do 23 chain. I'm going to miss the first chain and I'm going to do a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then two more slip stitches in the next two chain so I've got a nice narrow end on my tail. Next I'll do a single crochet. A single crochet is in through the chain, pull up a loop yarn round and through the two. Now I'm going to do a decrease single crochet. So in, pull up a loop, into the next stitch and pull up a loop and then yarn round and through the three. I'll do another decrease so I've got a nice big bend. going to do one more single crochet next I'll do one half double crochet a half double crochet you put the yarn around the hook in through the chain and pick up a loop yarn round and through the three loops next I'm going to do an increase half double crochet that's two half double crochet in the next stitch that will just make a little bend going the, the opposite way to the other bends now I'm going to do three half double crochet into one into each of the next three stitches I'll do one decrease double crochet so yarn round in through the next chain pull up a stitch yarn round take off two but I've still got two loops on my hook so yarn round again into the next stitch bring up a loop yarn round through two yarn round through two now I'm going to just do a few more double crochet to the end of the chain And I'll slip stitch into the body. I'll take it in and see where it fits and just do a slip stitch and then I'm going to end off. So I cut my thread and pull the loop through and pull it tight. That's my body and tail. Next I'm going to make the head. I'm going to make another magic loop. Do three chain and five double crochet into the loop.
I'm not going to join, but I'll pull it tight. For the second row, I'll do three chain and work a double crochet into the same space as the three chain. One double crochet in the next stitch, two in the next, one in the next, and two in the, the final one. following row I'll do three chain and work it similar to the last row so a double crochet in the same space as the chain one in the next two in the next one in the next and so forth so two and one and two and one across The third and final row will be the same, three chain, double crochet into the same place, one in the next and two in the next and so forth, the same as the last two rows. And there's the mouse's head. So we'll cut the thread and fasten that one off. I'll now make two ears. For the beginning of the year, we make another magic loop. Three chain and 10 double crochet into the circle. We're not going to join for the year, we just pull it tight and we've got like a half circle. Are we going to do three chain? And turn. One double crochet in this first space next to the three chain. One in the next. and two in each around to the last two. So two double crochet in each stitch around this curve.
the last two we just work one double crochet into each stitch. Like that. Now we'll cut off, but we're going to leave a bit of a tail for this one so that we can use it to gather it up and then fasten it off and do another ear the same. Now I'm going to embroider on a nose and the eyes onto the mouse's head. That doesn't look too bad. I'll go up to do the eyes. For the eyes I just do French knots. Stand it off and then I'll make a whisker, show you how to 
like a whisker. I've just been using very fine cotton and doing 13 chain. I cut the end off not too close to the chain so it will unravel, just give a little bit of a, an edge. And close, fairly close to the nose, I stitch the whiskers so I just pull it through and then I come back up and try to catch, catch the chain again. So it's tied down and that then just end off. And I make six whiskers. So I'll do that and I'll come back and I'll show you how to put the mouse together. To put the mouse together we gather up the ears so I just run a thread through the bottom to gather it up. I do the same. to the body like that and the head will go over the top so I'll just run a few stitches in just to hold that in place that one off stitch in the other ear. Sorry about my awkward sewing.
Now I'm going to attach the head just across the ears like that. Now I have trouble holding it while I'm sewing, so I'm just going to put a couple of pins in to hold it down. going to use cotton because I find that easier than trying to pull wool through all these thicknesses. So I'm just going to stitch along just on the end of the last row and attach, stitch through all three layers and attach the ears, attach the face to the ears and the body. Just end off. And there's the mouse finished. You can attach the ears, but I like to leave them sitting up, depending on what I'm putting them on, of course. I will have my patterns on, on my website. The details are down in the description. And if you've enjoyed my video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.